keeping up with our motto, let learning be a joy and teaching a pleasure. Here we are with a remote teaching and learning process to bridge the gap. Happy learning, students. Welcome students, I am Preeti Chahal. This session is for class 7th and 8th. In last session of HTML, we have learned about web browser, www, URL, web server and web page. In today's session, we are going to understand about what is HTML. HTML, full form of HTML is Hypertext Markup Language HTML is used to design web pages. Along with HTML, CSS that is Cascading Style Sheet and scripting language like JavaScript are also used to design a web page. It is a markup language for document design that is displayed in a web browser. Web browser generally translate these HTML code and display it in a visual form. These codes are viewed through web browser like Google Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer, Safari, etc. The extension given to HTML file is .html or .htm. Example, first HTML .html. .html is extension to the file first html. HTML is defined in two parts. First, hypertext and second, markup. Hypertext defines moving around the web page by clicking on links that allow us to access the next page. That is, there are certain tags which act like a link that allow us to move from one web page to the another web page. Markup is an HTML tag that have commands for the text written inside it. To understand the markup, let us understand the tags first. HTML tags. HTML tags are like keywords which defines that how web browser will format and display the content. With the help of tags, a web browser can distinguish between an HTML content and a simple content. HTML tag contain three main parts. First, open tag. Second, contain. And third, close tag. This close tag may be optional in many of the tags. When a web browser reads HTML, it reads from top to bottom and left to right. HTML tags are used to create HTML documents and render their property. Each HTML tag have different properties. An HTML file must have some essential tags so that web browser can differentiate between a simple text and HTML text. One can use as many tags one want as per code requirement. Here are some points to remember. First one, HTML tag must enclosed within open and close angle brackets. As you can see, the colored text are the angle brackets. Second is, every tag in HTML perform different task. Third, each tag has open tag, then there is also a close tag, except for some. The syntax here is open tag, contained, closed tag. Example here are HTML tag open and HTML tag close. This is an essential tag. This tag is used to tell the document is an HTML document. Second is B tag open, text B tag close. Now B tag is Nothing but it, it does bold to the word text. Now here are the some list of text editor.
to write in HTML code. As a beginner, we are going to use Notepad to write in HTML code. Now we will understand about HTML document structure. Tag defines the overall structure of an HTML document. A basic HTML document has a declaration, head, title and body. These four elements are defined by four essential tags that every HTML document should have. First, HTML tag, second, head tag, third, title tag and fourth body tag. These, these are called opening tag. Each HTML element have opening and closing tag. So the closing tag of each element are angle bracket slash HTML, angle bracket slash head, angle bracket slash title, angle bracket slash body. Each tag marks the start and end of the element. Elements of HTML. The first element of HTML is open and close HTML tag. This tag declares the document as an HTML document. This tag is also called as root element as this element represents rule or the top level element of an HTML. The document starts with open HTML tag and ends with close HTML tag. The web browser interprets the content included within this tag as an HTML document. Second is open and close head tag. This tag includes document identification. The information written within this tag is not visible on a web page. We usually write title tag inside the head tag, but it also contained link tag, meta tag and style tag. Link tag that specifies the relationship between the current document and an external document. It is commonly used to link the style document. Meta tag, this tag contains the element that represents metadata that cannot be represented by any other HTML meta related elements. Next is style tag. The style tag element contains style information for a document or a part of a document. Now the third one is open and close title tag. This element contains the title of the web page. The title of the web page is displayed in the title bar or title bar of the web page in an op which is open in a web browser. Body tag. Open and close body tag defines the main content of an HTML document or the section of an HTML document that will be directly visible on a web page. This body element contain all the contents of an HTML document such as heading, paragraph, images, hyperlinks, tab, tables, div, etc. In this slide, you can see the HTML code written on the left side and the output of the code is printed on the right side. Let us discuss the code. The first line you see is open HTML tag. Below open HTML tag, there is open head tag. And below open head tag, there is open title tag. Where the title of the program that is learn computer programming is written. Once the title is written, one has to close the title tag. Now, in the next line, you can see the style tag is open. The style tag is used to apply CSS that is cascading style sheet. This cascading style sheet is used to format, give format to the text or the content written within the tag. Now in here, in image, you can see the CLSS class is having a property of font size 40 pixel, color red 
and background color antiquish white. Here we are defining the property of the text whenever the class CLS will be used as an attribute the property will be applied to the text written within that tag. Now after defining your class we are going we are closing the style tag. Once the style tag is closed the head tag is also closed. The board now we open the body tag. Below the bo open body tag a div tag is written. That div tag is having two attributes class and id. Those attributes are having values cls and sample respectively. In within an open div tag you see the text written output display here. Once the text is written we are closing the div tag and this div tag after this closed div tag body tag is closed and once the body tag is closed we have to close our html tag. Close html tag defines the defining the end of program. Now let us see the output of a pr written program. You see on the screen the output display here is printed with the color red, background antiquish white and size 40. In this slide I am writing a short program. First I am writing open html and close html tag. Next within my html tag I am writing open head tag and close head tag. Inside head tag I am writing open title tag and close title tag. I am giving title to this program is first web page. After my close head tag I am writing open and close body tag. Within my body tag, I am writing open and close h1 tag that is heading tag which is used to give heading to the text my first heading. Below heading tag there is open and close p tag that is paragraph tag which is used to format the text in a proper paragraph form. In next slide uh, we will see its output. Here in this program you will see the output of HTML code. Here this is the title of your program first web page and here you can see the URL with the file name first HTML dot HTML and in the white space area you will see the two text my first heading and my first paragraph. You can see here my first heading with the big font and bold letters and the paragraph my first paragraph is written in a proper paragraph format. So students in this session we have understood what is HTML essential html tag used within html documents html document structure and element used in the structure with its html code and its output we also learn how to construct html code and how its output would appear that's all for this session next session we will learn how to create html document in notepad Thank you all for watching this video, take care and stay safe.